Hey, hey, how's it going? My name is Patrick and this is a quick tutorial on how to get AppSheet to send messages to Slack. So this is going to be kind of like a speed run. I'm just going to go through this extremely quickly. Uh, if you're looking for other videos on AppSheet or looking to see anything in more detail, uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment below and I'll be happy to make a video. Um, and then also check out my playlist on AppSheet. Maybe your answer uh, is in there. So let's take a look. Okay, so I'm gonna start on my AppSheet homepage here and I'm gonna go into the last app that we created, Comments by Users. This app is a simple app. We built this in one of the earlier videos. Go ahead and take a look at the playlist, like I said. Otherwise, basically here you have some entries. You can create a new entry by entering in the form here. And this is a speed run, so really quick, we're gonna go through it. How do we connect AppSheet to Slack? All right, first step, click on automation, create first automation, create new bot, configure event, create a custom event, okay? Ads only, we're not interested in deletes or updates. We just wanna know when a new comment is added. So here we go, I'm going to add a step and that step is going to be a custom step and it's going to be calling a webhook. The preset that you need for this is Slack hook. So already AppSheet has built into it a preset of Slack hook. We need a URL and we need a body. So we're gonna get that from Slack. So in this channel, I'm going to create a new automation under integrations and that is going to be a new workflow that I'm going to build. Uh, this workflow will start because of a webhook. So that's what I'm going to click there. Setting up our variables, okay? So our variables come from AppSheet. We look at our data and we have this data. We're interested in the first name, the last name, and the comment. Uh, I'm gonna make a separate video showing you how to send photos from AppSheet to Slack in the future. Uh, so make sure you subscribe so you'll be able to see that. All right, cool. So now we have first name, last name, and comment. Go back to Slack, and we have first name. Slack does not allow spaces, so we have to instead use underscores. And the data type will be text for all of these. Set up variable, last name, and comment. I'm gonna copy this because this is an example HTTP body. So this is what Slack expects to receive, okay? And we're gonna go into our automation to tell it what to send, okay? So here we go, body. We're gonna replace this example body with our example body from Slack, except now we have to replace this here with our app sheet variable. Uh, and this is how the app sheet variable has to look. You're gonna have the double greater than, double uh, uh, less than, and the open and closed square bracket. And inside of there, we're gonna put first name, this time with the space, because on the left hand here, this is what Slack expects, or Slack calls it, or knows it as. And this is what app sheet knows that variable as. So here we are connecting uh, the two variables. So I'm just gonna copy this over and replace the underscore with the space. Okay, square bracket, square bracket. Copy this over to here. And this over to here. Okay. Now we still need our URL. So back to Slack and continue. 
So now we have this event that starts with a webhook. I'm going to click in there and we're going to get our web request URL. Copy this link and paste it directly into this box. Now we hit save. Okay, so now we're going to go back to Slack and we're going to finish up our workflow. Okay, so we have this workflow that starts with a webhook. I'm going to add a step. Okay, there's lots of different steps you can choose from. Okay, today we're going to choose messages because we want to send a message to a channel. So we're going to send a message to a channel and that channel is going to be my delete after December channel. And that message is going to be name. And here, since it's a variable, we can insert first name, space, last name. So it's going to display correctly, but we're not going to do first name, first name, last name, last name. No, we're just going to do name, display the whole thing. And then we're going to display the comment. Also a video on these buttons coming soon in the future. Make sure you subscribe and check out my playlist. Save. All right, this is what it's gonna look like, right? So this is a speed run. I didn't title anything. Obviously you should title things, make things look better, but this is just a quick speed run here. We're gonna publish this workflow. Done. All right, let's go back to our channel. Fantastic, we're in our channel here. And we're gonna test this out. So we're going to uh, take a look at this in our browser. Here's our app in our browser. Hit add. There we go, this is Jack's comment. Let's go back to our channel and watch as the webhook comes in, boom. Speed run. This is how you connect uh, AppSheet to Slack. Uh, I'm also going to make a video now how to send data from Slack back to AppSheet. So make sure, like I said, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching and good luck on your project.